Hey puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to solve some logic puzzles. This one is known as a Renkatsu. How it works is you're going to be dividing the grid into regions. And each region must contain the digits 1 through n without repeating, and n is the size of the region. So if, for example, you have a three-celled region, they can contain the numbers 1, 2, 3. Now you would not be able to have a uh, four-cell region that have digits repeat, so you can't have two twos in a region, and you can't have a four-cell region uh, that says, you know, it's these four, five, four, three, two. That, that doesn't work. You have to go in sequential order, starting with a one. Um, so you can have some very big regions, some very small regions, um, and so forth. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to solve this puzzle for you guys, and I'll share some common tips and tricks along the way that will hopefully make it easier for you to solve this type of puzzle yourself in the future. Now the first place that I would start is just by drawing borders between any uh, repeating digits. So all these ones here obviously cannot be part of the same region, otherwise they would repeat. So I'm drawing border lines between them to separate them. Right, same thing with these twos up here, uh, and these twos, and these twos, these threes, and that's a good start. Um, the next thing that I would do is I would count the number of each digit, and the region, the reason for that is it's going to help tell you um, how many different regions there are of each size. So I'll, I'll, I'll start counting and you'll see what I mean by that. So the ones, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's eleven ones. I'll just jot that down there. Um, twos, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten twos. And so what this tells me is that there's going to be one region of size one because there's an, an extra digit uh, of ones. Um, so otherwise, what I would say is if there is the same number here, you would know that every two belongs in a region with a one. And we could connect these two numbers here and know that this is going to be part of the same region. region but we don't necessarily know that's the case here because this one could be in a region all by itself and be disconnected from this two. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, that's why I do the counting. So let's count threes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six threes. So fours. One, two, three, four, five. Five fours. So there's never going to be more fours than threes. Or there's never going to be more sixes than fives, right? Because again, the regions expand in sequential order. So if we count the fives now, we got one, two, three. Is that it? One, two, three. Three fives. And we have one six, just one six here. So uh, this is helpful because what I would do is I would say, okay, the one six must be connected with a five. The three fives must be connected with fours. The five fours must be connected with threes. So every two must connect with a one, but not every one must connect with a two. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and so usually I, I, I try to kind of start backwards. Uh, the other thing that I do is I look for uh, cornered areas or walled off areas where it can only expand uh, via one direction. So this four, for instance, uh, can either come up or left, but either way, it runs into a one. Uh, so if we think about it, if we start exploring towards the left, how it can go, this four must touch a three. So if it's not touching a three, it has to continue to expand. So if we come over here, it touches the one, can't go up and have the digit repeat. Can't go up this way, it have the digit repeat. So it must go here to the two can't go up and repeat with the ones. So now it connects with a six. So it must include both a three and a five. Can't go up, it would connect with a one. So we now continue left. Now we've included a three. Can't go left any further, we'd repeat ones. So we have to come up. Now we've got our five. And that could be a region, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. But then we think, what does this mean for this corner area? Because now this if this were a region, let's just highlight that. 
if that were a region, uh, this one could be by itself, but this four would then be stuck because you need to include a three. We couldn't go up to include the two. You can't go to the right. We'd be hitting another two. You could go up. You'd hit the one. That's fine. Um, and then you could come over to the right, hit the five because you can't go up. You'd have fours repeat. So you'd hit the five. And now you can hit the three that way. You'd have one, two, three, four, five. And that'd be, that could be okay, actually. Um, so if we had that be a region, right? Now you have this four. I think this four gets trapped then. So that's the problem, right? This four needs hits this one, two, and then it's stuck. You can't include a three there. So what that tells me is this can't go left. It has to go up to include this one. And now we've hit the three. Um, and so we know all of these are part of the same region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually draw a border on the left, knowing that these three are all part of the same region. And actually, you know what? I'm going to color that. Um, now I need to include a two. And I haven't had a two yet, so it needs to continue going further. Um, actually, you know what? It could be this two. Let me... Um, delete that region there oops so uh, forgive me on that so this region could come over here right we talked about that this one can be isolated that's okay uh, so we know that these three are all connected uh, now it could come up to the five and the two this way one two three four five that'd be fine um, so let's try the other corner so this four uh, is it going to hit a two either way? If it comes this way, can't come down now to this two, it would be repeating two. So if it came to the left, it'd have to come down. We still are in search of a three to connect with the four, and we'd be trapped here, right? If we came to the left, down, you can't come to the left or right because you'd have twos repeat. You can't come down any further because you'd have ones repeat. So this four and two actually need to be separated, right? This two cannot be part of this region. So this four now has to come down to connect with this two. Um, and then we can't come to the left for this one because then we'd isolate this two and it'd be all by itself. So that doesn't work. So we have to continue coming down. So now we've connected with the five and we need, and, and we can't actually connect with this region either because then we'd have fours repeat right four two five and then if it touched this three it'd be part of this one and four as well you'd have fours repeat so now we actually know this comes left uh to the left and now it can't come down because then you'd have twos repeat so we have to come further out to include that three now we have one two three four five that could be the region and i think that has to be the region because there's no way to connect with the six to make it bigger without having digits repeat along the way so there you have it. We've got our first completed region. I'm going to uh, color that in. So now we know this blue actually needs to come to the left to include this two. So we can actually color that as well. Uh, and so this one is all by its lonely self. So we know that that actually is its own region and we'll order that off. Now this one is now needing to connect with a two because we found the lone one. So this one, this one needs to connect with this two. So we know those two connect. Um, let's make that um, maybe a different color like gray. Uh, this one needs to connect with this two up here. We'll make that um, maybe purple. And now we know this two needs to connect with this one and it can't go any further because it's trapped by twos on each side of it. So this is its own unique region and we've solved that. So let's make that gray and we'll border that off. So this two now is trapped, can't come up, it would repeat twos, can't go to the right, that's part of a different region, that's part of a different region going down, so it has to come this way to connect with the three, knowing that that's part of the same group. We'll make that orange. This two is forced to come over to connect with this one. 
and that's it, it. That's its own region because it can't come to the left any further. It'd have twos repeat. Can't come down because then it'd be part of this region here and you'd have two twos. So this is part of its own region. And we can actually color that. Let's color that. Oh, gee, I don't know, blue. Um, so now this region here is forced to go down because we can't go up because part of a different region. Can't go left because then you'd have threes repeat. So you have to come down because we're still in search of a one. This two needs to be connected to a one. So this region needs to expand further. Um, so we'll make that part of it. Now it can't come down anymore. This threes would repeat. So it has to come to the left. So it includes the five. Can't go up any further. Let's draw a border there. Uh, Cause then the threes would repeat. Can't go down because then twos would repeat. And so it's forced to connect to this one, right? Cause again, the threes would repeat if we go up, the twos would repeat if we go down. And now that is one, two, three, four, five. And that is, I believe, the region, because we can't connect with this six down here to expand it any further. You would repeat digits. So this is a connected region. Um, this four needs to connect with this one. So that's its own region. Uh, that one was real simple. Now this two can't come to the right because the twos would repeat, can't go up because that region is complete. So it must come down to include this four. We'll, uh, we'll make this blue. Um, now it could come down kind of like this, one, two, three, four. Um, but you know what? I think we run into, yeah, there we go. That's it right there. It must include this six. Because if we think about it, this six and five need to connect. Um, and it can't connect via this one uh, because then you'd isolate this two and three up here, right? If, if we think about this two needs to connect with a one, it's kind of, it has to connect with this one. Otherwise, you're going to have it connect here and there's no way you're going to isolate this region here. You know, there, there's no, that doesn't work. So um, this is going to be a region here. Let's make that, oh, I don't know, um, blue. And these are all part of that other region. And so you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two. So all the regions are found and each region contains the digits one through N without repeating. So that's a Renkatsu. Really fun, actually. You know, I think this was probably one of my favorite puzzles out there, uh, at least right now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it on uh, the website uh, that I usually do it to share with you guys so that you guys can try to solve it. I just had to do it on Excel. I didn't know where else to do it. But I will be publishing a book shortly in the coming weeks that will include these puzzles for you if you want to give a few a try. So uh, leave a thumbs up if you liked it and a comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks everyone. Have a good night.